Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. MTB2 is a collection of templates, titles, animated icons, and logos, which will enhance your YouTube content creation workflow. In this tutorial, I will show you how to combine MTB2 with other Motion VFX solutions in order to get your video content more attractive to your audience. Let's start with the intro animation. Animated intro are really important as it would give the identity and the pace of your content to your audience. So a dynamic introduction is a must have. Also, it should be short and effective, 10 second max to keep the viewer on tracks. In this case, I've got a five second music edit. So I have to find a nice animation to match with it. You will find MTuber 2 on the generators panel. Inside, you can find animated background, here I'm looking for logo animation as I've got a logo to add and to animate. I will select the first one with the particles. I can play it and check it if it works with the music. In order to add my own logo, I will open the inspector and I will click directly on the drop zone icon. Inside the library, I've already imported my logo inside my event. As you will see, it's quite simple but effective as a YouTube channel, it's called Mr. Moustache. So I click on my picture inside the library and I apply the clip. So now my logo is integrated into the animation, I can play it. It's nice, but I would like something more colorful and dynamic. So I will use another template from Mintro, as I'm sure I will find a nice animation. I can skim directly inside the library to preview the animations. I will select number 19 and add it on the top of my first clip and remove the old one. Inside the inspector, I've got access to many parameters as a template is fully customizable. I will replace the logo sign by my own logo and look at the result. If you don't have any logo but you want to use this animation with the title, for example, it's very simple. You will have to switch between the mode logo to text. Now I will adjust the size of the logo and then I will increase everything. I will have to add the text, Mr. Moustache, but I would like also a nice animation. So I will go to the Mtitled Kinetic folder where I can find many text animations. Again, to preview the animations, you don't have to use it. Just skim over it and you see the result inside the viewer. I will select this one and put it on the top of my logo animation. I will have to modify the text like this. Apply the right font and adjust the size. As you can see, the logo should be behind the text. I will have to remove the background with the opacity parameter. Now I can use the on-screen control inside the viewer to adjust the position of the text and it's done. Let's see the result. Adding titles or graphics is great. Adding animated titles or animated graphics is better. With this animation, you will get your content more attractive and more dynamic. In MTuber 2, there are multiple animated titles and graphics. For this tutorial, I need to add a simple and effective title on the wall. I will select this one, the speech bubble, and add it on the top of my clip. Using the on-screen control, I can adjust the position at the scale, or I can use also parameters inside the inspector. I can change the title and adjust the size and the font. Each title has their own specific parameters. Like this one, I can add drop shadows and I can flip the bubble. Now I can adjust the in and out of my title animation in order to fit with the video background. Motion VFX provides multiple packages of graphics and text animated. My favorites are the M Callout collection. They are advanced animated text dedicated to specific projects. Here I will choose the M Callout Specs package, which will help me to add important information concerning the gear I will show up during the tutorial. I will choose the battery element. It will be perfect for my shot. M Callout are not just animated text, but also animated icons and every element can be tracked as mcallout integrate mocha planner tracker for a quick and easy tracking. So we just have to position my element at the right place. 
and then I can select which part of the battery I would like to track. Then I click on the track button. And after the analysis, my animated text will follow the battery slide motion. Now I can fully customize the element. I can modify the text, I can play with the font, adjust the size, but also I can modify the animation of the icon. To keep the attention of your audience to a specific point or area, MTuber 2 gives you an easy and nice way to do it. In this example, I would like to focus on the tattoo, the moustache. So I can create just with a drag and drop a magnifying plus effect. With the on-screen control, I can adjust the position and the size of it. In the inspector, I can change the color of the circle. I can also modify the background blur and the brightness. And another way to focus the attention of your audience will be with the instant zoom effect. It's so easy to use and so fast. Just drag and drop the zoom effect on the top of your clip. Then with the on-screen control, adjust the position of the circle in order to define the target. And it's done. You can combine some animated pointers at the same time to amplify the effect. You just have to put the pointers on the top of the effect and adjust the position. In the inspector, you can change the color of the different elements. You can also duplicate the element, change the position and the rotation, and then you will have your own effect. Depending on the type of your content, the look of your video will be crucial. This new example is a daily vlog from Matt and his dog Teddy, traveling in the Bolivia desert. The landscape is amazing and having a great look will amplify the feeling and the emotion. Every editing software has integrated color correction tools, but it demands a lot of time to create a look to add various filters, LUTs, and effects. And most of the time, you must publish your video as soon as possible. To help you to add cinematic look at the light speed, Motion VFX release Amphemlock. Amphemlock is the only one solution which integrates color correction tools, grain, lens blur, lens flare, letterbox, and many more tools. Very easy to use, you can find it in the FX panel, you can start from scratch, or you can test presets already available inside Amphemlock. As it is a daily vlog, I will choose a preset, I don't have time. I can skim directly on the preset and see the preview in the monitor window. I will select the boulevard preset and apply it on my clip. Then I can refine the look as I've got access to all the parameters. In this case, I will remove the lens flare and adjust some levels parameters. Now I will have to copy paste the effect to all the other clips and it's done. I've got my cinematic look for my movie. Depending on your content, if there is a lot of information, graphics can help your audience to visualize your world, or it can also help to sum up all the points you've demonstrated during your video. Motion VFX provides many infographics packages with animated graphics. One of my favorites is M Features, which will enable you to create quick lists, reviews, and ranking. In Mr. Moustache tutorial, I would like to recap all the points listed during the video. I will select the pros and cons list, and as usual with Motion VFX plugins, I can customize everything. So I will drag and drop the list on the top of the frozen background frame. As you can see, the brightness of the background is too high. It's really difficult to read the list. I've got many possibilities to correct this. I can color correct the background, but also I can simply add a black solid layer. In the inspector, I will adjust the opacity. I will adjust the in and out point of the list. And then I will add this off to the black solid layer with command T. In the inspector, I can modify the title and adjust the position. I can also switch from seven subsection to five directly with the pop-up menu. Then I can modify every point of the list. In a few seconds, I've got my bullet list with the nice in and out animations. In the inspector, I can adjust every parameters like the size and the bullet points. Animated graphics can also help to give some context to your video content. For example, if you are vlogging in the middle of the desert, like this video, a nice animation with a map can help to quickly localize you. I will use a brand new plugin mTravel2 which provides many tools like backgrounds, composition, animated icons, overlays and typography elements. I will drag and drop the travel map element, which is awesome to create animation on the map. 
Travel map is really easy to use as you will have to define the locations for the departure and the arrival. To edit the position, go to the inspector and switch to the settings for final effect to set location. When set location is active, you will see the full map with two points, one pink and one blue. The pink one is for the departure, I will move it on the front. And the blue one is the arrival, I will move it to Bolivia. When it's done, just switch back the settings to final effect. You can modify the name of each location, the color of the indicators, and check the result. As usual with motion VFX, you can customize everything. For example, if you don't like the big plane and you want a more adventurous plane, it is possible. In fact, you can replace the plane by an arrow or nothing or a drop zone. You just have to go to the event browser and select the picture of your plane. Then you can remove the circle and adjust the size of the plane and it's done. Also, don't hesitate to add some effects and color correction on it in order to match with the shot before and after. Here I will apply the preset from MFM look I've already used in order to get more cinematic look to my animation with grain, letterbox and lens flare. As you can see, Motion VFX provide many solutions for content creators. For more information, visit us at motionvfx.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't miss the second video to learn how to get close to your audience and have a better interaction with your subscribers. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.